Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Sam with the Humble Outliers, and today's video was on three hot dividend growth stocks to buy in 2020 and hold long term. Stocks that you don't have to babysit and can just add shares over time on dips. Um, but before we start, please smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Also, please subscribe. I'd love to hit 100 subscribers by the end of February. Thanks. Alright, so before we begin, I just want to do a quick um, overview of my M1 Finance. If you're not familiar with it, it is a fractional shares. It's a great way to invest and buy stocks um, with very little money because you can buy stocks such as Amazon and Google. Um, expensive price sticker stocks, but you can, you know, it divvies it up based on fractional shares. So this is a performance of my account so far. Um, I began back in December, and so far as of now, it's at a 10% return. This is something I plan on continuing to add to. It's just a great way to automate your investing and showcase a way to diversify. And it's just really a nice way so you can buy stocks that you traditionally couldn't buy because they're just, you know, expensive price-wise, and they may fluctuate a lot. You know, something like Tesla now, which is out, get up to $700 a share or some other expensive stocks. It's a great way for you to diversify. All right, so let's begin. So guys, today's video is gonna be covering three hot dividend growth stocks that I currently own and will be adding more shares for the long term. I think that these are solid stocks to hold for many, many years with tons of room for price growth and dividend yield increases. All right, so let's begin. All right, so the first stock is Waste Management, ticker symbol WM. This is not a garbage stock to hold, pun intended, but actually a really solid business. It consistently beats its quarterly earnings, as you can see here. Um, also pays a dividend yield of currently 1.67%. Produces a solid free cash flow of currently, you can see here in the statistics, 1.15 billion. Has a current forward PE of the video at 26.71. So if you're not familiar with waste management, they are a leading provider of comprehensive waste management in North America, providing services that range from collection and disposal to recycling and renewable energy generation. Their a stock price has consistently performed well over the year, over the one year and five year. I plan on holding this stock for many years and will be accumulating many shares over the on the dips. Um, and you can see here on the chart history that the one year has been consistently growing and the five year trend also shows a very steep increase. And you can see here from bar chart, um, another site that I use to help analyze stocks, it is in a very bullish signal as far as the technical goes. All of the indicators are at a buy rating. It's at 100% buy rating for the long term indicators, the medium indicators and the short term. Um, so this is definitely a stock that is solid to buy and hold. It pays a very consistent dividend, and it's a business that I think is pretty much recession-proof for the most part. I mean, there's always going to be a um, waste management type of service that's going to be collecting garbage. And let's move on to stock number two. And dividend growth stock number two is Johnson & Johnson, ticker symbol J&J. &J. This stock is my favorite healthcare sector stock for and for good reason. It is a massive company with a market cap currently at $404 billion. Um, it is a well-known company with a lot of fantastic products in the retail, pharmaceutical, and medical device space. It consistently beats its quarterly earnings, you can see here. Also, it has a massive free cash flow at $19 billion. It pays a dividend yield of currently 2.55%. It is a massive company that has been battered recently with litigation, but I see this company figuring out and continuing to grow into the future. J&J &J is one of my largest core holdings, and I plan on adding more shares over the years as I don't think this stock requires much babysitting and brings phenomenal products to the market. And also you can see here from bar charts, uh, their opinion indicators, you can see that from the technical indicators that they're all at 100% buy very bullish the strength is maximum in all the regards also the direction is very strong or strengthening um, so it's definitely a solid stock to buy and hold for growth dividend growth investing um, it's a solid company to hold for many many years and dividend growth stock number three is Microsoft ticker symbol MSFT what can I say guys Microsoft is a beast of a company with a lot of room to grow 
they consistently beat their quarterly earnings report you can see here also they're one of the largest large cap stocks out there they have a massive free cash flow at 35 billion you can see here also it has a well-run leadership it pays a dividend yield at currently 1.17 percent what I really like about Microsoft is that they have a solid business triangle with room to growth you can see here from their recent quarterly to fiscal year earnings report that their productivity and business processes intelligent cloud and more personal computing has a near perfect trifecta of a business it counts for each you can see respectively 11.8 11.9 billion 13.2 billion for a total of 36.9 billion at a 14 percent growth their cloud business is growing at 27 percent and this is one of the things I'm very bullish on with micro in regards to Microsoft, especially in the cloud business with the recent win over Amazon Web Services for the Jedi contract. Microsoft is a company I don't plan on selling for many years, and I'll continue to increase my shares and my holdings. Also from bar chart, you can see that this company also has very solid um, trend for buy ratings. It has a 100% bullish ratings for the long term and medium term. So this is a company that I plan on holding for many years. It's a solid company, well ran, and they have some great products that they're introducing and they're always trying to stay ahead, especially with the cash flow that they've got. They can consistently pay out those dividends and increase it yearly. And that'll wrap things up for the top three dividend growth stocks that I am picking and buying and continually to add shares of. And quick disclaimer, please remember to do your own research when picking stocks. I am not a financial advisor and this is meant to be for entertainment purposes only and I wanted to show you guys my portfolio here I'm tracking this on Yahoo Finance um, and I wanted to show you guys you know I this is transparency this is where I have my portfolio currently set up and my allocations you can see that J&J &J, Microsoft and waste management is part of my large holdings it is something I'm going to be continually adding to but I'll do a video going over my portfolio as a whole. You can see that I have $72,000 in there in stocks. Uh, it ranges from those stocks being in part of my IRAs, um, my own personal brokerage, my Roth IRA. So this is just how I've been tracking them. And any things I make in regards to updates, I'll be able to show that with you. And I'll go over in other videos in regards to the other stocks that I own and the reason why and why those might be good picks for you as well. Um, so that'll wrap up the video. Which of these David and Growth stocks are you guys bullish on? Is there one I'm missing out on that you really like? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Have a good one and stay humble, outliers.